What do April showers bring? April showers are supposed to bring May flowers. But how do we feel when they don't? The rain falls, yet the flowers don't come. Disappointment sets in. We don't get what we were promised. April is traditionally a rainy season, which nourishes the freshly thawed winter ground. Add some good spring sunshine to the mix and flowers should grow, right? Life brings rain. We pray through it and hope to see something beautiful. And we do cling to the promise of God that all things do work for our good. But what if it's a really long season before we see the good, before we see the beauty, before we see something new grow in an area of our life? This, my friends, is where the rubber meets the road when it comes to our faith. Will we still believe even when we don't see what we had hoped to see or what was expected? Is God still good in our disappointments? He is. A friend of mine who lost her husband to cancer had these words to say about disappointment and the unknowns of life. She said, don't freak out and run. Whatever the thing, hold fast and remember what is true. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. I was so encouraged by that reminder. I've been inspired over and over by her journey. She simply says yes to each day, putting one foot in front of the other without seeing at times where the path leads. Isn't that what we're called to do? Often our faith is tested in ways that aren't meant to lead us away from God, but to refine us, to bring out our best for Him. Abraham didn't see the meaning to the test of his faith when God asked him to place his one and only son on an altar. He simply obeyed, putting one foot in front of the other. Genesis 22, 2. Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. God promised Abraham he would be the father of many nations. Abraham trusted God. Even in this moment, when what was promised seemed to be hanging in the balance, he obeyed, and on the mountain of the Lord, it was provided. When we don't see flowers after the rain, we can trust the character of God and know He is at work. He is with us and He will provide. It may not look the way we had hoped, but as we read His word and cling to His promises, we can have hope knowing in time something beautiful will bloom after the rain. That's the truth. If you're hurting today and living in a season of disappointment, pour your heart out to God. He loves you and will give you the strength you need as you go where He leads. I'm Lori Klein.